So, yet another acolyte stands in the shadow of our academy. You must consider yourself privileged. Tell me, you who would be Sith, have you seen much of our civilization so far? Have you been awed by this world's power and glory? Indeed I have. Korriban is most inspiring, my lord. You find it so? Then you should understand something. Korriban was wrought by the true-blooded Sith millennia ago. Our ancestors, a crimson race of conquerors, raised the statues around us. Over the eons, however, our people mingled with slaves. Now the red markings of true Sith are rare, and the purity of this planet is in question. And what about me? Are you doubting my purity? No, you are young. It is your masters who concern me. True purity and strength are carried in the blood. I worry that our blood is being diluted over generations. In the Emperor's name, I have come to learn whether the Academy's overseers are Sith or not. You will be my instrument. I would be more than proud to help. It is a glorious opportunity. I possess an ancient device, a holocron, that can read and record bloodlines. It will pulse with life near the Overseers. Allow the holocron to fulfill its purpose. Stand near the Overseers as it attunes to their blood purity. Then return here, and I will learn the truth. The Force is a weapon. I will show you how to wield it. Show no mercy.
Step forward. I assume you've completed my task. I will take the holocron now. It is time we judge the purity of your overseer's blood. Time we know how much of the ancients survive in their veins. I completely agree. The holocron. It glows white. So little Sith blood in all of the Academy. And only one of the Overseers wears the red marks. This is shameful. I will bring this to the attention of the Dark Council. Measures must be taken if the true Sith are to survive. What exactly is your plan? I'll advise purges and enslavement of those with the thinnest blood. And uplift the pure. It will be the Dark Council's decision, however. You have served well. It is too late for me to alter your training. But in the future, perhaps acolytes will kneel at the feet of the pure-blooded. Tino. I believe that's the one. Really? All right. Hey, you! Careful, Tino. Come on, I'm antsy for some action. You there? Are you the big shot they're all talking about? The one who's been personally summoned by Darth Barris himself? For your own good, curb your curiosity. Please pardon my over-eager friend. It's just that we've heard so much about you. And we want to get in good with you. Tino? What my blunt partner here means is that if you need anything or anyone, say, dealt with, we'd like you to consider us. She's talking about Femrin. We'll kill him for you. <laughs> Sorry. I should have had Tino muzzled. So, what do you say? We know Vemrin tried to have you killed. Would you like him eliminated? I'm preserving the pleasure for myself. Far be it for us to rob you of such an experience, but consider this. There are rules. Acolytes are not to openly kill one another. Everyone knows of your rivalry. If you kill him, the Lords will presume your guilt. But if Vemrin croaks while you get an alibi, people might be suspicious, but they won't be able to pin it on you. See? I don't know. How can I be sure you can pull it off? Let us prove ourselves to you. Spar with us. Then decide if we have the skills to benefit you in this endeavor. I don't have time for children's games. Oh, it won't take long. A few passes and it'll be obvious how impressive we are. Come on, boys. Time to show our stuff. <laughs> took all four of us apart. This changes everything. From what I hear, Vemrin's every bit your physical equal. <laughs> if we can't even hold up sparring against you, we'll never be able to kill him. You've got it all wrong. Vemrin is just a lot of big talk and reputation. Really? You mean he gets by on the illusion of strength? What does this mean, Fine? It means Vemrin is a dead man, and we're going to have the most potent of allies. Most of you will not return from this endeavor. If you die, you will be forgotten. If you give up, you will be killed. No, out of my sight. I've got a bad feeling about this. You should. This is the end of the line for you, Clemrel. Just make sure you stay out of my way. Look here, Vemrin. I see the upstart, but no sign of Dolgus. Clemrel, Vemrin, you have been dismissed. Yes, Master. I underestimated you by sending Dolgus. It will not happen again. Are you having trouble with Acolyte Vemrin, supplicant? If he insists on getting in my face like that, he's gonna have trouble with me. He has been hardened into a lethal machine. Vemrin has paid his dues. 
He's fought a deck stacked against him to get here. You, on the other hand. Let me get a closer look at you. Yes, as I suspected. Overseer Tremel has done you and this academy a great disservice. Your warblade came early. Prisoners flown in for your convenience. Even a beast here on Korriban instead of off-world in the wild. The pacing of the trials is deliberate. Only full immersion over time produces results. Your mind is soft. Unhoned. Undisciplined. I'll remember that. And someday, you'll regret those words. I wouldn't regret destroying you where you stand. The first month of trials should be dedicated to philosophy, conceptual tactics, understanding of the Sith Code. Recite the Sith Code for me, Acolyte, and explain its meaning in battle, war, and politics. Sure, give me a minute. Uh, well, you see, there's the dark side, um, the light side, and, uh, and there you have it. Pathetic. I can read the lie from a nascent Force user with my eyes closed. I am your master now. Tremel was becoming lax before you ever arrived. His unwillingness to adapt to the evolving Sith paradigm has become a liability. These are the actions of a traitor. Traitors are executed. I grant you immunity from punishment. Kill Tremel and bring back his hand as proof. As you decree, my lord. Now, leave. I'm sure Tremel is still in his chambers. Don't return until you've killed him. <laughs> I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Has Barras sent you back to me? I'm here to kill you. Then I have been outplayed. Barris has the authority, but I did not think he would do something this overt. Either I die, or he forces me to kill you, and to destroy my own plan. A master stroke. Very well. You have your orders, Acolyte. Know that it gives me no pleasure to kill you. What makes you so sure you're going to kill me? You're strong, Acolyte, as strong as any I've seen come through the Academy. But you're not Sith yet. I'll try to make your end quick and painless. It's the least I can do. <laughs> Amazed. I knew you were strong in the Force, but not like this. You're more than ready to challenge Vemrin. Barris won't be able to deny that now. He'll have the satisfaction of my death. But I die knowing my success. Go ahead. End this. You fought bravely, Overseer. Die with your head held high. Farewell, Acolyte. The purity of the Sith lies with you.
What's this? The Acolyte returns, and with a bloodied weapon. I assume this means Tremel is no more. Give me his hand. Here, take this one ring as a memento. Remembering the past can strengthen resolve and embolden the spirit. I am impressed you had the fortitude to destroy him. You know he thought of you as family. How did it feel to betray him? I did what was called for. You mask your feelings well, as long as you don't suppress them. You have taken your first step to understanding the Sith Code. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, we gain strength. Through strength, we gain power. Through power, we gain victory. And through victory, our chains are broken. The Force shall set us free. By embracing the cold and destroying Tremel, you have freed yourself from his shackles and escaped his fate. I'm glad to be free of Tremel. That's more like it. I had a feeling you'd be a fast learner. Now, there are sacred ruins in the tomb of Tulak Hord. The ancient inscriptions that once adorned the walls of each ruin lie in pieces. You will venture through the entire tomb, search all of the ruins, and bring me a shard from each of these inscriptions. You will do this, or you will die. Vemran and my other acolytes have already been sent. There are no rules regarding how they secure the shards, and they will stop at nothing. Fight your way through the tomb of Tulak Ord in the Valley of the Dark Lords, and bring me the shards from each of the ruined shrines. need of you, young one. Whatever errand your master sent you on can wait until we are through. What gives you the right to command me? I am Inquisitor Urinth, and I represent the intelligence operations of the Sith. We are currently holding an important Jedi prisoner, a spy who attempted to reach this academy. We have plans for him. Upon capture, we found the Jedi's mind simple to manipulate. We fed him false memories through a combination of drugs and sorcery. Soon he will return to his Jedi commanders and report the lies we fed him. He will know nothing of what we've done. All that remains is to stage his escape. Leave that to me. Good. I'm pleased that you appreciate our project. You are young enough, new enough, to be a plausible traitor. You will go to the Jedi, talk to him, do as he asks, earn his trust. When that is done, set him free. Do whatever is necessary to get him out of prison. We will ensure that he reaches his ship and returns safely to his Jedi friends. I will accomplish it. You will find the Jedi Quarry and Dorgis in the jail cells. He is still confused and should not be overly difficult to convince. There's no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. The Jedi Code will guide me. I take it you're the Jedi who was captured. I am Corian Dorgis. I'm a Jedi. Even here. Even on Korriban. Why do you care? Why are you here? I'm here to get you home, if you play your cards right. And I'm to trust you, the word of a Sith. I don't understand. You're here to help me. Why am I talking in circles? What's wrong with me? You need to calm down. You're right. I apologize. There's no passion. There's serenity. There's no chaos. There's harmony. The Jedi Code will guide me. I can focus. If you want to help me escape, I'll need my belongings, my lightsaber, my comlink. 
Before I was captured, the Sith chased me into the tomb of Tulak Horde. I hid my belongings inside an urn to lighten my load. That is where you'll need to go.
know you. We talked before. My head's clearer now, Sith. It's all here. The comlink, my lightsaber, everything I hid. You're going through with it. With all this, I... once the guards change shifts, I think I can slip out of the academy. But what about you? Will you be okay? Korriban is my home, Jedi filth. I fear nothing here. I should have remembered that. I apologize for my concern. I still don't understand why you're doing this, but I thank you. I think it's time that I be going. As you say, Sith. Thank you again. I'm, I'm sorry the Empire took you in instead of the Jedi. If things had been different, maybe you could have been part of the Order. So the Jedi is preparing his escape. You did well. Not perfectly, but I have confidence the operation will succeed. Our business is concluded. I will make note of your assistance in my report. Anything for a fellow Sith. As it should be, take these tokens as payment for your service. And know that no Jedi can threaten Korriban. Now go. You did it, didn't you? You got the shards from the tomb, and you're on your way back to Lord Barris. I didn't even break a sweat. That's all I needed to hear. <laughs> Stop! I, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I tried to get through the tomb, but there were just too many Shirak. Barely escaped. I figured better to ambush you and take your shards. But I see that's just as futile. Vemran is already inside with Barris. All the other acolytes died. You were my only chance. Now, I'm doomed. I'll never become Sith. Unless I return with the shards, Barris will have me killed. I'll save Barris the trouble of listening to your whimpering. Die! <laughs> supplicant returns and with all the shards from the tomb of Tulak Horde superb it seems your hopes have been dashed Vemran appearances can be deceptive excuse Vemran supplicant he didn't take kindly to you turning those young acolytes on him even though they were only untrained novices that was a trick I learned from Vemran himself I was just giving him a taste of his own medicine. The tension is thick between you two. A great source of emotion to feed on. I wonder what will happen when it boils over. You both stand on the precipice of becoming Sith. 
but only one of you will have the opportunity to claim a special lightsaber and serve as my apprentice. I thought it would be you, Vamron, but I've changed my mind. What? I've done everything you've asked. Better than any of the others. The honor should be mine. This is as it should be. Get used to being in my shadow. Today, Vemran is every bit your equal. But the Force is stronger with you, Acolyte. And there is a power sleeping within you. It was a simple decision. Now, Vemran, go wait in my antechamber for your instructions. This instant. Now, I hope you fathom how fortunate you are to be singled out. If you become my apprentice, the galaxy will bend before you. I can't wait to start killing. The lightsaber you will seek is old and powerful. It is housed in a forbidden cavern in the tomb of Nagasado, where few Sith have ever set foot. Almost no one knows how to find the secret entrance. But there is a Twi'lek in the holding pens who was caught breaking in there. I hear she is quite willful. Take her and make her show you the entrance to the Forbidden Cave. I will take care of that. Other acolytes seeking to complete their trials are sent to the tomb, where Academy laws are waived. They will try to murder you. This test will determine if you become Sith. So bolster yourself. To set foot in the tomb of Naga Sadao is to breathe in death itself. Will ya? I'm getting my fill of fun while I still can, slave. Ah, as if on cue, look who's back. Word is you might become Lord Barris's apprentice. Ah, nice work if you can get it. So, I hear you'll be relieving me of this Twi'lek. She's a pain in the neck. Ha! <laughs> who's a pain in the neck? I'm the one wearing a shock collar. Huh. Consider that a going away present, Twi'lek. Seems you might be useful for something after all. This bruiser is taking you into the tomb where we caught you. None of you can figure out how to activate the tomb statues to open the Forbidden Cavern, huh? You got some kind of business in that secret Sith chamber, do you? My business is none of yours. Here, kid. Take the shock control color. I'll set it to a higher level. Use it enough, she'll show you the back door to her mother's house. I suppose I can play Tomb Tour Guide. A lot of work went into cracking that nut. But I did it once. I can do it again. So we're clear. I'm officially on strike when it comes to domestic duties. Well, let's give this higher setting a test run. <gasps> okay, that's worse. Stop! I'll take you to the unlocking points throughout the tomb, and then open the secret door for you. Just lead the way. Nobody better mess with us now.
Acolyte, may I speak to you for a moment? You need to move out of my way. Please, I didn't mean to offend. I just wanted to... There was another Acolyte, not long ago, who entered this tomb and did not come back. He... he died in there. Death is a way of life. That seems even more true on Korriban, I'm afraid. The Acolyte who went in there, he... he was a good sort. Friendly and talkative. He said he was entering the tomb to prove himself to his father. I just thought it would be nice if somebody took his body back and told his father he didn't make it. You are an imbecile. If you have no pity for the boy, think of the father then, and the prestige you could gain from doing this. His father is a powerful man. I'd never survive in there. And even if I did, I wouldn't be allowed to see his father. He is a dark honor guard stationed in the academy. None but Sith can ever set foot on the sacred ground where he stands watch. But you could find the body and bring it to his father. Please do this and honor the fallen. This dark honor guard better make it worth my while. Thank you so much. If you find the Acolyte's remains inside the tomb, let me know. I can tell you where to find his father in the Academy. Good luck. got torn up pretty badly in there. Uh, he was so brave and ready to prove himself to his father. His father is, was, Naaman Fall. As I said before, he's one of the Dark Honor Guards in the Academy. If you take the Acolyte's remains to his father, I'm sure he'll be grateful. That sounds worthwhile. Thank you. It's good to see that there are more feelings embraced by the Sith than just hate and fury. You can find the Acolyte's father outside the chamber of the Dark Council. That's where he stands guard.
Hey, this is it. The secret entrance to the hidden cavern isn't here. Just let me get my bearings. Take your time, slave. Just have the entrance uncovered by the time I finish killing your new master. You'll do nothing of the sort. Fitting that you meet your end in a tomb, Vemran. My passions run deeper than yours. I am the true essence of what it is to be Sith. My legacy has suffered long enough. After today, you will be forgotten. It ends here and now. Barris's apprentice was my destiny. Did I come this far and overcome such adversity, only to be proven unworthy? I have waited a long time to put you in your place. Consider this. Killing you was easy. Then do it. Finish me. Yeah. Wow. Nice work. Speak when spoken to, slave. Ow! Bantha Poo! What was that for? Just to put you in your place, so you don't forget your station. Couldn't you have written a note? Sheesh. The secret entrance is right here. Bite that tongue of yours, slave. Consider it bitten.
What can I get for you? Come back anytime. This is great, thanks. <laughs> 